let's move now to the northeast region uh, because the community of Lukala remains deserted days after uh, renewed land and chieftaincy conflict between the Konjas and Mampusis forced scores of residents, including women and children, to flee into bushes. The Regional Security Council has since deployed police and military teams to prevent violence, but many of the residents have refused to return to the area, fearing a possible fight between the two factions. Yesterday at about 11 a.m., a deployment of police and military were sent to the area to try to get the armed warriors out of the town. And I think that was done. So calm has actually been restored and uh, people are, are free to go about their daily activities without any let or hindrance. The minister has therefore appealed to the youths of both sides to stand down and allow the chiefs to deal with the situation. Our common enemy in the north is poverty, and that is what we should fight. Issues about land are matters that fall within the purview of chief. And so for me, what I would say is that if there's any problem that has to do with land or chieftaincy, let's allow the traditional authorities to handle that. So I just want to call on everybody, particularly the youth, that we should give peace a chance. The Gonja and Mampusi tribal factions have been fighting over Lukula and several other communities for over three decades now, with each claiming the communities as part of their territories. And although the two factions have never fought directly over the dispute, sporadic clashes have persisted since 2018 after a failed attempt by the Mampruces living in the area to join the Northeast region during the creation of the new regions. The residents who protested to join the Northeast region had cited social, political, and economic deprivations. Speaking to Joy News, the Mampruci Paramount Chief of Janga, Sona Abanan Tokma Seidu, accused the Savannah Regional Minister of distorting the fact of what led to Saturday's tension in the community. The Savannah Regional Minister said that there are flani ethnic groups from the land, and Sonaba is disturbing them, collecting cows from them. And it's lie. It's a hypocrite. I don't know the reason why Akufado have wasted his time to pick this man as a regional minister. We need the justice people to rule a place. Somebody who will tell you the facts so that you will know what you will do your job. He created a lie like that. The chief also blamed the Defense Commission of Enquiry for the creation of new regions, as well as the British colonial masters for the prolonged dispute between his traditional area and Daboya. We and Gondias have never fought because of a land. You understand me? Only the, the land by this area, let us, we and them are fighting. And it was British. They come to do. You know, British, they are, they are thieves. British are thieves. If I were to be a head of state, I would have let British people to know that they are thieves. They come and spoil this our country and bring their wrong education to come and pollute our mind. Our, our politicians and our president don't know their left and right. And they come to take our resources to go and devote their place and let us suffer. The chief has therefore appealed to government authorities and the National Security Secretariat to find a lasting solution to the dispute whilst warning Gunjas to stop provoking Mampruces and never to step foot anywhere in the disputed territory. If government didn't come there and they, we heard they came there with lies again, not that, not Lukula that will fight, we'll face the boy direct. I want them to know today, today, as I'm saying it, they are liars, they are human vultures. In that place, they saw there is a food, they will land there telling lies. That was in Peura is a liar. It's my, he's my colleague, he is not telling his people the right thing. No Janga alone will get up and fight them. All man Purgu, all man Purgu will, get, will come to face them so that there will be peace that place. When they, when they beat us, they should take the place. When we beat them, even the boys will take it. Elias Sutanko reporting. Let's get more from our regional correspondent, Elias Sutanko, who joins me with more. Elias, so um, let's look at what is happening to the residents. Are, still, are they still hiding in the bushes? Iliasu? Laisa, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. 
So I'm asking whether the residents who um, found their way into the bushes, whether they are still there or they are coming back. Well, our information is that uh, these uh, women and children have started coming back to the local community, largely because of the presence of uh, the, the security in that area. What we are learning is that these people had run into the bushes and some of them had actually run to neighboring communities to stay with their family and friends. But with the continuous presence of the security in that area, we are learning from since morning that uh, the people have been coming back to their community. Now, what is the situation on the ground right now? We've had the chiefs um, blaming each other. What was the situation right now? Well, since Saturday, when the armed men invaded this particular community, held the, 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 the community hostage for several hours, before security forces went in there to break this particular siege, there have been conflicting reports or explanation to this particular latest tension in that area. According to the Mampresis, and you heard the chief of Janga, who is the paramount chief of the Sioux traditional area, he's saying that uh, the, the, the Saturday's tension was as a result of the presence of the armed men in that particular community. He claimed that these armed men were brought in by the paramount chief or the Gunja paramount chief of Daboya to uh, accompany a, a rival chief that he had in skin uh, to stay in that particular community. But according to the Gunjas uh, or the Gunja side, uh, uh, what they are saying is that uh, they got the report from that particular community that the chief of Janga were forcing some Fulanis to take royalties from them and because they feel that it is not part of his territory, he has no right to take royalties from these Fulanis. And that is why, on that, or that, that was why these armed men invaded this particular community. So these are conflicting reports that we are getting from uh, these two parties. But I must say that this uh, community, they have these two parties have been fighting over these communities for three decades now. Uh, the, the latest tension sparked uh, after the creation of the the new regions, uh, largely what is happening is that this particular community and several others administratively are within the North Gunya district of the Savannah region. But most people in this area are occupied or most of them are, are, are Mampruces. And, and so this Mampruce traditional area, which is the sole traditional area, are claiming these particular communities are part of, as part of this. And the Gunjas are also saying that these particular communities are uh, also ours. And so during the creation of the region, the Mapruces in that area had protested severally, saying that they wanted to join the Northeast region. Uh, the Gunjas uh, resisted strongly to this. There were clashes in 2019, and, and, and the, the Gunjas did not allow this particular breakaway. And so since then, there have been sporadic tension in that particular area. Elias Otanko is our man uh, from the northeast region with updates on what is happening there. But there's enough security there, right, Eliasu? Yes, from what we are learning, uh, according to the Northeast Regional Security Council that spoke to me uh, on this particular matter, the Savannah region, which is closer to this particular area, and really who's administrating uh, this particular uh, 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 trouble areas fall in. Uh, they have sent a lot of security forces in there. And my checks since morning have confirmed that indeed security uh, are around that area and they are uh, uh, patrolling the community to ensure calm. Elias Atanko is a man from the Northeast region. He's been updating us on that uh, conflict between two factions.